Welcome back. Today I'm taking a look at the brand new Travax Venture Billfold. Let's check it out. So this is interesting. The Venture Billfold came in this new plastic clamshell style packaging, which is way different from their normal packaging, which is usually just a cardboard box. So I'm not really sure if this is the way that Travax is going for future wallet releases or it's just for the Venture Billfold here. But regardless, I'll throw that off to the side. I'll give you guys a nice close up of the brand new Travax Venture Billfold right here. And while you guys are checking this out, let's go over some of the features. So the Travax Venture is a hybrid style bifold that's made up of two main materials. The frame is CNC machined from 6061 aluminum. There's a single piece of three ounce Horween leather that's sourced from Wicked and Craig. And it's hand settle stitched with heavy duty braided nylon thread. The main card pocket can hold between six to seven cards. And the internal card pocket can hold between one to three cards. But it also features a dedicated cash compartment that can hold 20 plus bills and a somewhat hidden single card stash slot on the inside. And everything is held together pretty nicely with a magnetic closure that features triple plated neodymium magnets. It's available in two colors, black and brown. Of course, the version that I have right here is brown. It's covered under Travax's famous 65 year heirloom warranty and everything is made right here in the USA. All right, so what about the dimensions? Closed up, it comes in at three inches by 4.125 inches and has a thickness of 0.5 inches when empty. And according to my weight test, it comes in at 3.1 ounces. That's 88 grams. So I was pretty excited when I saw that Travax was releasing the Venture here. It's been a few years since they released a brand new everyday carry wallet design. And the Venture here is Travax's first traditional style bifold that they've released. Actually, I shouldn't really say traditional bifold because this isn't traditional. This is more of a modern style bifold. What I really should say is a modern bifold with traditional features. And what I mean by that is now it has a full size cash compartment just like a traditional bifold. Technically, Travax does have another bifold, which is the Axis wallet, and I did do a review on that, but it doesn't have a full-size cash compartment like this, and it's made of stainless steel. And I've been carrying this for the last week or so, and there's a lot I like about this, but there's a few things that I don't like about this too. And I'll go over and talk about those things once I get there. The Venture here has a machined 6061 aluminum frame and a single piece of three ounce Horween leather here. And let me give you guys a close up of that one piece Horween leather right here. It looks beautiful and I'll show you that hand saddle stitching right there. You guys did a great job here. And when I say hand stitching, I mean this very front of the wallet right here is hand stitched and on the inside right there. I'm not so sure about right there. That looks more like machine stitching to me. And then on the back here, you can see how that leather is attached to the aluminum frame with those four screws here. So from a quality standpoint, I think the Venture Billfold here is just classic Travax, just top-notch quality. And the only branding that I see is right here on the front of the wallet where it says Travax made in the USA and then stamped on the aluminum on this magnetic clasp right here. And speaking of the magnetic clasp, this is one of the most interesting parts of the Venture in my opinion. So let's open that up and I'll give you guys a look at those four neodymium magnets. There's two right there and then two more right there. And being neodymium magnets, you might think that they're super strong, but they're actually not that strong at all. They have just enough power to help keep this clasp closed, which is both good and bad. It's good because you don't want super strong neodymium magnets so close to your cards once they're in this front pocket here. And it could be a bad thing if you have a fully loaded venture with 20 plus bills or 12 plus cards. At that point, these magnets might struggle to keep this clasp locked up. And of course, I'll test that out a little bit later on in my card test and you guys might be looking at this thinking it's fairly large and um it is the largest wallet that Travax offers as of right now as an everyday carry wallet of course their Rome clutch and passport wallets are bigger but those aren't considered everyday carry wallets the venture here is so let me bring in just for comparison some other Travax wallets right here so this is the Travax element and let me hold them up side by side so you can get a size comparison right there. And let me put the element inside of the Venture here and you can get a good idea of the size of the Venture here. And now let's bring in the Travax Ascent and check that out. So the Ascent is close but the Venture is slightly larger as you can see right there. There's a side profile. And there you go. And now let me bring in the OG 2.0. There's the front. Let me stick it on the inside, as you can see. There's a side view. 
and there's a top. And now let's bring in my favorite Travex wallet, maybe my favorite wallet of all time, the Contour. And you can see it's so much bigger than the Contour here, it just dwarfs it. And there's a side view so you guys can see and get a good idea. So now you guys have a visual representation of the size of this venture. Yes, it is the biggest wallet that Travax makes, but not by much. So now let's look at the pockets here. So it has a quick access card pocket right here on the front with the thumb slot. And the quick access card pocket on the front has an aluminum spring right there. So in theory, even if you only have one card in this pocket, that spring should keep that card nice and secure. But once again, I'll go over all that very shortly in the card test. On the inside, there's a cutout right here that acts as another card slot that can hold between one and three credit cards. And then on the other side, right on the aluminum frame, there's a single card cash slot that's almost hidden right there. I almost missed it the first time through. And now you can get a good look at this full size cash compartment right here that Trayvax says you can get 20 plus bills in there. All right, so now it's time for the card test. I already loaded six cards in the front pocket here in the quick access card pocket. One card right there in the single card stash slot and then three cards right here in the internal card slot. So that's a total of 10 cards and when it's closed up, you can see that magnetic closure isn't having any issues at all. And this front pocket right here is by far my favorite feature of the Venture because it has this thumb slot right here. You can just press up your cards and as you do that, you can see it just slides that magnetic clasp right out of the way. Now, right now I'm having somewhat of an issue getting just one card to slide out. That's because I have six cards stuffed in there and I was only carrying it with three when I was carrying it to get ready for this test. So the pocket right here is a little bit tight, but if I take out three of these cards here, and show you what I was carrying. I was carrying only three. So to get out my most used credit card, I just slide up that card. And as you can see, it comes out super easy, slides that magnetic clasp right out of the way. And the easiest way to get that card back in there is just push up on the next card. That clasp moves out of the way. That card acts as a guide and there you go. So I think the functionality of this front card plate here with moving the clasp out of the way works pretty well. And yes, right there, you saw one of the things that I don't necessarily like about this wallet is sometimes when you're pushing the cards back in, it gets a little goofy and slides around like this. You can see I have tons of play. So getting that magnetic closure to close right the first time every time is almost impossible. Like I said, that's not necessarily the biggest deal in the world because I really do like how the functionality is here, pushing these cards through the magnetic clasp and moving this little clasp out of the way. And there's nothing really to go over with this internal card pocket right here. You're just gonna put the cards that you don't use on an everyday basis here anyways. But I do like the addition of this little single card stash slot right here. I think this is a good idea just to put a little card that's out of the way. I think this is a nice addition right here. So real quick before I start stuffing some bills in here, let me do a shake test for you. So like I mentioned, that internal spring right here. So let me try one card and with one card, yeah, that spring right there has no effect on it if you only carry one card. But remember, that's what this magnetic clasp does right here. It keeps everything nicely sealed. So if it's sealed up, yeah, that one card obviously isn't gonna fall out. So the shake test here is mainly to test out the effectiveness of this aluminum spring here. So let's put two cards in here. And yes, I can already feel that spring catching on those two cards and doing a shake test. Yeah, that's so much better. So with the effectiveness of that spring here, two cards while the clasp is open, definitely works with a single card with the clasp open. No. And now let's test out the cash compartment here. I'm just gonna go all in and try the maximum 20 bills. Well, they actually said 20 plus bills, but I'm just gonna try 20 for right now. So let's get those in here. And by the way, I have 10 cards. I put the six cards back in that front pocket. So I have a total of 10 cards. Let's try 20 bills. I just wanna test out the effectiveness of that clasp to see if it will still close up and can see just how thick this wallet is right now. And you can see what I was talking about with those magnets not having an effect with a fully loaded venture here. But if I pinch and then physically close that clasp right there, it definitely locks up. But that has nothing to do with the strength of the magnets here. The clasp and the frame right here basically locks together. You can see that little, these little lips right here that 
basically grab, oops, that grab right onto the clasp and holds it shut. So just keep that in mind if you're somebody that needs to hold 10 cards and 20 bills in the venture, this magnet does not come into play at all. You can see it barely even latches on right there. Check that out. You have to physically close that clasp up like that, make sure it locks in, and then you're set to go. And overall, I think the functionality of the cash compartment here based on this design works just fine, but I don't like messing around with these bills while there's cards right here. I don't like these cards sticking out so far. It feels like they're just in the way when I'm trying to grab my bills. And yes, that is one of the negatives that I was talking about earlier. I just don't like these cards right here sticking out so far on the inside when I'm trying to grab bills out of this cash compartment. But these cards only come into play if you carry over seven cards because you can still hold up to six cards in this front pocket and then one right here on the inside. So I suggest if you don't need to, don't put any cards right there, especially if you're a cash carrier. You're just gonna get annoyed with those cards getting in your way. And that's basically it for the negatives. Overall, I really like the Venture billfold here. Is it my favorite wallet release from Travax? No, that goes to the Contour all day long. Is it my least favorite wallet release from Travax? No, I would say this falls right dead center somewhere in the middle from my favorite to least favorite. And honestly, I don't know if that has to do with the larger size being a bifold because as you guys know, I'm not the biggest bifold fan in the world. Overall, like I said, the quality here, Trayvax always knocks it out of the park with their quality. So I don't have a problem with that at all. But if I had to rank their everyday carry wallets, I'm putting this dead center of their lineup. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. What do you think of the Trayvax Venture? Now, if you wanna check this out for yourself, I will put links down below in my description box. And I do have a special code just for my subscribers. I'll have that code down below as well. But if you did enjoy this video, please give me that thumbs up. Please subscribe and go!